I am not going to. Pat's still, uh, fucking me and Pat, that's like comedy. Hello? Okay, cool. Pyro eat food? I wish. I'm stuck here and I'm gonna eat when I get home. Currently setting up losers, uh, what am I? Losers around. Uh, I'm in. Losers quarters. So, me and Pat are gonna be up next. Tell Pat to eat food for uh, teach me how to download music mods later. Uh, you cannot because you have a Switch Lite, and it requires a first Switch. No, he deleted. Bruh, he deleted scum. Carriage weep, yeah. in here. down in Neo besides of uh, Satonix and and Nan are the only people who can even stand up to him. But yeah, Little Fang, none of that helped him now in winter semis against Alaxel. Alaxel, Alaxel beat me. We, we played in bracket. Yeah, he knocked me out of the side. Remember what I 
No, I am not a coach. He's funny enough. You know, he's more my coach, but he. Uh, interesting thing about Little Thing is he actually tries to play for fun. Yeah, it's really weird. You would never think of Smash. Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's a very talented player. Um, he really does try and make it a fun game. Uh, sometimes it's even a little bit to his, uh, to his demise. Because. Funnily enough, he actually plays this. Yeah, no, I Yeah. Yeah, he is the best player in the game. Oh, uh, he did the turn on the But uh but yeah, so this game looking a little bit better so far. But are so clean. Oh, oh, never mind! He's terrible! <laughs> ah, no. Oh, no! He's great! I lied. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh... If you guys heard that, I'm sorry. Yeah, he I don't know if you heard that. Shouted. Yeah, how cool he was for Counter-Pico. Yeah, I heard that guy coming. He's like, I'm so cool! I'm so cool! Oh, I appreciate that. Bye, John! Yeah. Coming out for you. John, say goodbye to Counter. This is good night. I love you all. And there it is. Yeah, yeah. I should be going every Yeah, you want to take over? Yes, so it is just me now. 2 0 Alexol. Huh? Oh. On little thing. Uh, oh, double James commentary? Pretty nice. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that one was working. James and James. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. In that case, I guess we'll have to share. We got like... Gather around, gather around the mic. Anything has one. Yeah. Who's it's design. I mean it's design. <laughs> do we know? <laughs> what a no, question. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Yeah. Alright, I really like this pick coming up with a little bit. Single time so he's playing with Lucy. He did sing in the floor in this tournament, and I appreciate him sticking to his mic. That's true. Uh, he gives a pit main still, yes? Yeah, yeah. He's okay. still a pit main, still a pit. Um, he's trying to have some fun. Pyro will be up after this soon, so don't go anywhere. Yeah, I respect. I got.
should be back on now. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Appreciate it. Real one. Alright, well, what I was saying while the mic was off was that, uh, a little bit kind of weird, but that has quickly evaporated because the lax did not like it. Yep. <laughs> now, this map, you know, Christina is your bread and butter top. There's pretty much no debate. Very cut and dry. Yeah. What her game plan is. Yeah. Lucas, on the other hand, is probably one of the most, um, Unique? Uh, has one of the most different opinions of where they are. Some people think he's terrible, other people think he's absolutely amazing secret top. Yeah, I've seen a lot of tier list plays Lucas in like bottom five, which is crazy to me. And but then there's other people who put him in like high tier. So and that's that's also I think kind of BS. Oh, yes. He's just he has good stuff, but I think a lot of mashups he just gets kind of walled out. If he can't get his stuff going, it's it's really, really rough for him to to play someone else's game. Yeah. Yeah, I think a really important stepping stone when you're trying to get good at competitive ultimate is understanding who is in the advantage based on the character of the semester. And I and when people think about that, they're like, oh, I can mash, but that's not the answer all the time. Now sometimes it is. But you really do have to consider what this matchup um, has to be, regardless of what, you know, character. Like right here, what I like is that little thing is Oh yeah, Little Fang is putting, he's he's running into Alaxel's space so that he feels pressured, right? Even right there, like all he did was stand there and he got a grab. Now he missed the punish off of it. That was crazy. I've never. Seen... But, but uh, he's he's putting a lot of pressure just by being in his space, right? You see him buffering the spot dodges, the air dodges. But uh, but Alaxel, you know, keeping his composure, he's sticking in this game. I feel like, after many, many sets with the last tilt, I feel like he has pretty solid mental. I don't think I've seen him ever get super tilted, and even the moments when he's a little tilted, it doesn't seem to affect his gameplay that much. So, he's, yeah, hanging the game is quite strong. Oh, this is the dancing right there. Waxel at kill percent. Just gotta get clipped by DK Freeze. <laughs> I really, I really like these approaching zeres that he's doing because I was playing them uh, earlier in bracket and it lasts way longer than most people think. And there's a drop down back air. Uh, yeah, he really likes to go for that tether, and it looks like Little Fan took advantage of that. Use back air and killed him. Spirit, Spirit saying the only time I notice Aaron's tilt is when he spam goes for grabs. Yeah, I mean that can happen. I think if you're Oh, we've all been there where your opponent's at high percent, they're just not dying, and you're like, you're just spamming your kill option. Yeah. I spam grabs too when they're at 160, it's a problem. Um, I don't know, yeah, that makes sense though, that's fair. Yeah, I feel like that's more of like a bad habit that people kind of fall into versus like tilting. He doesn't seem to, like you said, he doesn't seem to tilt. Um, now Little Fang on the other hand, I do have quite a bit of experience seeing is that my entire Smash career is based around him teaching me. <laughs> but, but yeah, he... He is an emotional player, right? When things are going good, you can see it on his face, you can see it in his gameplay, and when things are going bad, you can see it if you know how he plays naturally. Right? And I think right now, this is honestly even a growing moment, like you were talking about earlier, sticking to your guns. Like naturally, when people switch characters, it's because they lose, and then they carry that negative energy from one character to another, and it's just not the solution. Really, really interesting up smash. Getting the jump, and that's another thing I absolutely love about Ultimate. It's like, there is basically no bad move. Like, every move can hit your opponent, and there's always something you can do, right? Now, I'm not saying up Lucas up smash is bad by any means. It's that, in those iframes, and saying, ooh, oh, no punish on the re-grab right there. But he did punish that jumper on the corner. Now, what I would like to see him is, uh, Relaxo likes to go for these side beats on stage, or off stage, to cover the save. And I want to see Little Fang try and, try and get a better edge guard. Oh, what a mix up. Really good right there. Yeah, recovering against Lucas is really super important because he does have, you know, PK Freeze, PK Thunder, a lot of tools that are sort of strong. They can kind of cheese you, but I think if you if you mix it up, you're not usually in too much danger. A lot of people here still get caught by it. It'll, it'll end a stock early if you are not careful. Um, I've seen Aaron decimate a lot of wolves sub 50%. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I think, uh, and I think that's one of the main weaknesses we talk about. Speaking of the character Lucas, it's like 
Okay, he has really, really strong moves, right? This air has his combos, the down air has his combos as well, up air combos. They all lead a whole bunch of damage, forward air is a great disjoint, right? But even side beat side beat's great, right? But the thing is, is that it has such small areas of effect, right? Right, like, even forward air has a nice, strong sweet spot, but some, you just get the sour spot a lot of the times. It can be a bit inconsistent. Right. Because even though it is a destroy, it's not, it's not in the sense that, you know, we've seen an air as a destroy. That move does not have a sour spot, right? If you hit one of it, that single hit in air will combo into a kill combo, right? Both hits will kill if they're at a decent percent and close to the left, right? A character with no sour spots versus a character with sour spots. And honestly, I, I feel like it impacts players uh, when they see, oh, I had that read, I got the sour spot, and you know, that happening once may not be a big deal, twice maybe not even that much, but when you get to like the upper numbers of like, I'm literally out playing my opponent and they don't lose for it, it's, it's, it's hard on your mental. I've lost many an interaction from people falling out of down air or F tilt, and it, yeah, I can, it's just the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, in the world. Um, I don't know, Lee Bayern here on FD. Interesting that Little Fang allowed this. This is definitely Lucas' best stage. Maybe he just wanted stronger juggles with the Xena. No tech! Oh, what an edge part. That was so good. The frame traps, absolutely insane. Alaxel taking it 3-1 over Little Fang. Up next, on stream, we got Petsaw versus Tyler. What's up, bro? Oh, haha. <laughs> Sort of. A lot of people 